Hello there all of my lovely children. Welcome back to Grand Theft Auto 4. As you might recall, uh, last time we left Nico, he was uh, evading capture by his cousin to take him to the evil bowling rink. Bowling alley. It's not bowling rink. What the fuck's a bowling rink? Um, so he went to bed in a secret location. And we're going to resume right now. Now, some of you have played this. I uh, might be able to tell me if I'm being overly paranoid, but it seems a little bit like... Um, this game hates people who want to pick it up and record it in batches because it, it when you try and close it down it says things and I have no idea if it's going to follow through. I've had to restart this a couple of times already and it makes me fucking nervous. It does. Oh well. Catboy Megamix. It's good to see you again, Nico. And I mean that in an affectionate way, but not too affectionate. Not too affectionate. Just the right amount. Stuart, are you still there? Yeah, I was just uh, watching you sleep. Yeah, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it, Nico. I was just... I was just uh, yes. Ah, I'm awake. I had a dream just now. I saw. Parable in the dream to saw too. Not painting a very good picture for this, uh, this character, are you? Did? Wow. I... I really thought I was back home. Oh, the sun back in my home world isn't a light bulb. It's a big ball of fire in the sky. I don't think I'd be able to hold it like I do with the sun from your world. This isn't my world, Nico. You don't want to see my world. It's terrible. Huh? This isn't the world I live in. Really? Ah, I guess not. If you're the god of this world, you wouldn't necessarily be in it. That's good logic. What's your home world called? Um. Oh, it's decisions, decisions. Um. I think we should be honest with Nico. We've got to build bridges here. How else are we going to, you know, get in this good side? Earth. Earth? Like... The stuff on the ground? Wait, do you live underground? No. Ah, neither do we. But shrews and field mice and stuff do. Does your world have a sun? Yes, it's also a ball of fire. Really? Wow. Can you hold it? <laughs> okay, Nico. Nico, the, the, this line of questioning, I, I'm not a big fan. That was a dumb question, wasn't it? The sun of my own world is very bright. Warm, too. But how would you know that if you hadn't hold it? If, if you hadn't hold it. You saw, right? But it goes away sometimes. At night. Everything gets dark, kinda. Like how it is in this world now. But it's okay, because the sun always comes back the next day. That's good, don't you think? Got so many dialogue options. Yeah. Oh, you got a love heart, huh? <laughs> Nico. Mm-hmm. During the night, people usually go to sleep. <laughs> I'm too internet for this. But some people stay up and use computers. I don't have to explain what they are, do I? There was one in the house from earlier. Anyway, we should probably get going. Computers, A. Eh? No. Uh, no. I suppose there's more to do. Not yet. But it's good that we can reuse that. I was worried that we'd have like one save opportunity ever and that would be it. You know, you'd get to use the beds once and that'd be fucked. What is that? I don't know. So, yeah, we're back playing this fantastic little game. Um, and I have a little bit of an insider scoop. Well, I say insider scoop, but I have somebody who's more competent than me, who, who said something, Blaine Howley said that there's something in a, a train car, like some boots that make you run like a fucking athlete. And uh, I'm a fan of that. I like the sound of that. He's like a bow. Well, let's, let's see if we can't find these boots first. I like the sound of finding boots. Boots are always welcome. Any kind of boots, just just boots. 
So I must apologise that there's been a bit of a delay in picking this up. I took all of the files and stuff um, with me on my travels recently, expecting that I would be able to do a little bit of one shot on the go. However, it does not seem like one shot records its saves in the game folder, like say, uh, well, what do you know? Oh, a pair of boots. Bet it would be easier to walk in these. Yeah, well, sure, boots. Let's just shove all this shit on. Oh, maybe not the gas mask. It's gonna scare the gas mask on. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Look at this. Look at this shit. Right. Uh, boat, I guess. Oh, that's so good. That's so good. I I, I wasn't particularly annoyed about the the progress speed, so I would have been happy if we didn't get this, but I ain't gonna complain. Hello? Um, hello? Dot dot dot. Stuart? Are you there? Always. Nico, you just you just call me and I'll, I'll be there. Oh, good. Can you see this robot? It's attached to the boat. It doesn't seem to have power. There's a large hole in its chest, like it's missing a piece. Its joints are well, are rusted over as well. I still think we'll be able to fix it. Who made you the fucking expert on robotics, Nico? The boat's pointed towards the spire. What do you think? Okay, well, I guess that's part of our quest then. We have to fix the robot. He needs something in his chest. Perhaps he needs a gun. What's in here? Uh, I guess not a lot. We, we were here, this is where we got the boots, so I guess there's not a great deal happening in this train car. Which has managed to get some way off the tracks. So I'm hoping that um, this is using the new recording method. So this is possibly the, the, the first real proper test of it, which is exciting if you're a fucking nerd like me. Um, uh, that's what we got the boots, right. It's it's cool. Also because um, oh, where the fuck am I going with this? Oh, I'm getting sidetracked. Ah, hello again. Do you have anything you need to say? I wish you luck. Okay, he doesn't. He doesn't. That's all right. What was in here again? Probably nothing interesting. We don't need to fart about. It. We need to make progress. Unless one of these things is the progress, so that would be useful. What is that? Was that always lit up like that? Um, yes, recording. Ah, there might be something useful in this box. Pry it open, you see. What would you use to pry open a box? A crowbar? A uh, key? Yeah, tiny shrimp. Pretty much tiny shrimp the game. I had a whistly tooth there, did you hear that? I was like, shh, whistly, shh. Tell it to take. Shut up. Right, and we did all this already. So we need to find something that we have not found. We've done essentially a fucking massive circle. And what do we have to show for it? Not a great deal. So we need to find a crowbar. Aha! It's a piece of metal railing. Maybe I could use it for something. Yeah, a weapon. Kill zombies. Maybe not zombies. Maybe we'll just uh, maybe we'll just use it to pry open the box. Yeah, yeah. I wish I had something to pry open. Try metal rod. Go. Maybe I could flatten it somehow. Flatten it. How would one flatten an iron bar? How heavy are you, Nico? You don't know that heavy. I don't think you could flatten it with the mass of your ass. Ass mess. Oh, funky new band for 2016. Ass mess. So the file that this game wrote, I can find it again. But as I said, it kind of disconcerting that again does that. But it is cool. It reminds me. Let's beat up the robot. Um, it reminds me of back in the day. You had games like uh, Virus, which pretended it was like a virus infecting your computer, and it. Um, Pretend it's deleting all your files and shit. 
That sort of stuff. I like that. Not having all my files deleted, but games that... What's this? A cleaning sponge. What's it doing here? Good question. I can't recall having touched anything that would have required a sponging. So, that's interesting. Um, yeah, that's what I was saying. I hope the, the audio isn't maxing out, because the last time I recorded this, it was really... <laughs> it was really bit, um, overdriven a lot, going into the red. Uh, and I'm hoping that is not the case for now. Hoping. I don't really have a lot, unfortunately, to... To guarantee that. We've still got the metal rod in our hands. Ah, this looks like a thing you put a metal rod in. Wow, it really worked. Good job there, Nico. Flattening rods. Just gotta take this long pole and you gotta work it through this machine until it's perfectly flat. Sounds legit to me. That's the job that a child should be doing. But it doesn't matter, just, just get them to do something. Just get them busy. This pond is a lot different than the other ones. The water is all gooey. Okay, sponge is not the answer. What about empty bottle? Oh. I don't really want to combine that, I just wanted you to use it on... There's no way the goop will fit in this bottle without some sort of funnel. Ah! Interesting. Well, just... just let me fill out this noodle with some of this goop. Gross. A viscous syringe. Fill the strange liquid from the pond. Excellent. Well, I don't know if that's going to be useful, but we, we did it. We did it. See, this is um, kind of a recipe for disaster. Usually when I'm playing like fan games and stuff, I can afford to just run around and talk the most bollocks stuff. And things will happen, and sometimes it'll be entertaining, sometimes it won't. This is going to require, it seems, a little bit more certainly awareness. Just, just use the use the bar, use the flat bar. Um, crowbar. Excellent. This bar should open it. There's a broken portable battery inside. It's still rather on the large side. The lens is completely shattered. Lens, you say. Lens, you say. What was this here again? I thought it was a charging station or something. Maybe not. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. Shrimp in the, the shrimp in the gar in the jars, guys. Hold on. I know I, I'm being an idiot because we've been in here about fucking six times already. But um, who cares? Not me. Not you. Hopefully. Right, so we've got the battery. Presumably that's the battery we need to shove into the chest of that fucking robot. So, let's get about doing that. I wonder how, though. How indeed. Thank you, Blaine Howley. That's excellent. You've, you've fucking, you've made me a much happier camper. Well, I wasn't, as I said, I wasn't that offended by the slow speed. I was enjoying the mood and the atmosphere, but it certainly makes it more entertaining watching because now we can get places. What's the, what's the other end of this machine there? Oh, nothing. Okay. Robot. But can we... Okay. No, I guess we can't. What if we use the syringe? No. What if we use the light bulb on the battery? Okay. I think we're on the right track, though. Good, thanks, Nico. That, you're, 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 you're so good to me. Um, no, shut up. Uh, where do I read that? Hey, maybe I'm, maybe I'm better at this than I was expecting. <laughs> Whoa. We just about fucking walked off that end there, Nico. You gotta watch your fitting. Uh, so it doesn't move relative, does it? No. Curious. I've been working on my game a little bit. I I, I know the, the 
me talking about game and the game that I made is, is almost comical because of how long it's taken. Um, but I've got some basic animations and things working. It essentially at the moment it looks exactly like as if someone really shit at making games made uh, a Pokemon Red clone, um, which is interesting in a kind of historical manner. I may, I may be something I make a video about, uh, but. Not for now. I, it needs to be slightly more presentable, I reckon. Well, that thing, not interesting to us, is it? It's empty. Yeah, we did that. Yeah, we 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 looked at that as well. Okay, I guess there's there's nothing in this little bit for us to to do. I'm thinking what the sponge would be good for. Hmm. Sponging off of society. Hey there, good looking. What's going on in here? Chess. That chess set. Yeah. What's inside of the spire? I don't know. Nobody's ever entered it before. At least, nobody history knows. Then, who built it? Bill? As far as anyone can tell, it's been there since the beginning of time. I see. I don't see how you could with those big old eyes of yours. I think we had that dialogue before, but it's been unfortunately a bit of a delay between me picking this up and not so. Uh, yeah, I can apologise. Ah, this looks promising though. What's all this junk? What's this? Shut up! Stop it, Nico. Just, just go down. What's this? All right, where's that battery? Okay. Maybe, what if we use the, ah, hang on, oh, ah, uh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, I think what we need to do, we don't have the crowbar anymore, fuck, damn it, screwdriver, camera, aha, let me see if I can get this lens out, done. Excellent! Lens! Broken battery! The lens pops right in! Excellent! So now we have an empty battery. We use that on that. Looks like it charged the battery completely. That was fast! Ugh. Excellent! Excellent thinking, young Nico. Excellent. Right, let's go shove it in that robot. Oh, fuck off. I forgot about that. Um, where's your thinking? I'm sorry, Nico. I, I'm really, I'm really not good to you, am I? I do it because, I, I do it because I love you. I do, I do all bad things because I love people. I'm actually a real dick to people that I, when I'm, in a particularly good mood. Make of that what you will. Um, I don't feel like we've explored that area quite enough because that's back down to the pier. So I'm gonna go. Up to the left. Yeah, I know Nico, I know. Well done, mate. Well done. You want to figure it out yourself. I had to put it on for you. You're not that fucking clever, are you? Don't get fucking cocky on me, Nico. My young cat boyfriend. I like the, ga the, the, the way the gas mask looks, though. It's cool. Nice that it came in a cat eyes size. Perfect for your feeling companion whenever you want to take them in a particularly noxious a no a noxious environment. Get that gas mask off for the moment. Hello robot. Hello yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. I can. I can see it, yeah, yeah. I think we should put the charged battery in the robot. The battery seems to hit the hit the full. Fit the hole perfectly. I am functional. You. Thank you. Hello. Nice to meet you. I am robot number 310. Would you like me to take you somewhere? Uh, are you okay? I cannot move. Well, you're still really rusty. Um. Long shot, maybe? I could. Ugh. Okay, okay, okay. 
Sponge. Use the sponge to get rid of the rust. <laughs> a sponge alone isn't going to remove all this rust. Well, shit. Um, just, just, I know, I know, I know. Okay, all right. Light bulb's not the option. Uh, okay, but we're, we're making progress. We need to find something that can remove rust. A file, perhaps, or a. I don't know, what removes rust? A file. No, no, no. Yeah, I suppose a file. Something that would uh, slice or cut things off of metal, or maybe some polish, metal polish. It's a thing, right? Here, yeah, you know what that is, right? No. Yay, we're back in this room! Hooray! Oh. Hmm. No. Hopefully if there was something apparent that wasn't there before, the game would not make that too deceptive. It seems to have been pretty forthcoming about clues and the like so far. Uh, nope. Nope, nope, nope. Nothing in there. Um, I need to get back into Tuki a bit. I want to. I, I mentioned this before, but I have I have some ideas for some stuff to do. That um, is a little bit above and beyond the. Cause there are nearly a hundred episodes, and um, I've actually been checking out some some videos by some other people on the, the subject of Tuki. It's interesting how um, similar commenters come up, come at things from a different direction. You know, appreciating a lot of areas where Tuki is derivative instead of um, slamming it for it, or you know how it, it just fits into some of the same cliches. Yeah, Tuki is the only fan can get away with it. This, this is like if specifically. No, we, do, we wait a minute. Crushing. Hmm. No. Maybe we should have used the journal on the on the robot. Well, that's an idea. We we'll do another loop. We'll try that. Oh, get so back. Um, what was the saying? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, derivative. This this is obviously not a fan game, but. I think it's far more charming. It's because it has its own, uh, its own flair, its own little, uh, this little thing. Hey, you know about rusty robots, right? Ah, uh, we don't need this banner again. I bet she knows how to polish a metal rod. If you, uh, you know what I mean. I don't know what I mean by that either. To be honest, I think I'm just being silly. Um, yeah, we did that already. That was most definitely beyond repair, it's just a head. Right. Oh, whoops. Let me do that. Get back in there, Nico. I know. I know. Just stop going on about it, goddamn. It's like the first time, um, took a kid to, to the swimming pool and, like, yeah, yeah, I'm in the war, I'm in the war. So, yeah, we know you're in the war. And then every time after that, it's like, yeah, yeah, I'm in the war. Yeah, I know. You stop fucking going on about it. I'll take your fucking mask off in a minute, Nico. I couldn't do that to you. I would feel terrible. Why is this hole small? This hole isn't hard to reach. Well, let's put the empty bottle in it. Let's see if I can fill up this bottle. That, that. that was it. Bottle of smoke. What do we want that for? Let's combine it with the viscous syringe. I can inject the liquid through the cork. If I shake this now. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> Bottle of acid. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm so fucking juvenile. I'm fucking. I'm, I'm terrible. 
Uh, maybe I should be the one walking in fucking poison gas. Uh, right, let's take that mask off your beautiful face, Nick. Go. Let's go. Let's go find that fucking robot. Show my face full of acid. We are doing. Oh, I, I know, I know. But try this. Use the sponge, Nick. I hope this works. Yeah, me too. Yeah, I know. Right. Okay, yeah, it doesn't. he's not interested in the channel. That's fine. Wet sponge. This sounds... I hope you've got... We do have gloves on, don't we? Excellent. Hold still. As if I had a choice. I feel better already. I can move. I'm able to follow my programming again. Where would you like to go? I'm headed towards the spire. Closest destination to the spire is the Glen. My built-in navigation circuits are fried. Oh no. What can I do? In the event of an error, you should speak with the head engineer. She will know what to do. Um. Head engineer, you see. Who would that be? It's not going to be that robot down there. I think we should go up. Oh yeah, you need to. Take me into a completely different fine game, and I'm still farting about putting the wrong things on at the wrong time and trying to put things on from the wrong menu. <sighs> Nico, shut up, man. Come on. Um. Yeah, take me completely a completely different game, and I'm still like opening the wrong bloody thing. I'm just not cut out for RPG Maker. I think that's the moral. Hello, are you Leeds Robot? Excuse me again, miss. I found a robot who can take me towards the spire, but it's a bit broken. No gender, no gender assigned to the robot that we found, but this gender is a miss. It is something, but it's navigation circuits being fried. Hmm. If you give it something from the Glen, it ought to remember how to get there. It'll be rare to find anything like that here. Nobody's entered or left for a long time now. Wait, I have this. A coin? Look closer. It's a clover inside amber, inside the coin. Oh, it's very pretty. But I can't just give this away. It's special to me. I won't bother you with the details. I'll tell you what. I haven't played chess with another person in years. Play a game with me, and I'll let you have it. I don't know the rules very well. But I guess that's the least I can do. Oh shit in hell, I'm gonna have to play chess. You're really good. I have a lot of free time. Chess keeps my mind busy. Why are you here all alone anyway? Check. I'm here because I want to be. This place is my home. Ah. Have you ever been to any other regions? I heard that there's three. Is Nico trying to chat up the robot? In the past? Ahem. In the past, yes. I probably wouldn't recognize them now. They changed that much, huh? Because the sun is gone? No. I said this already, didn't I? The sun won't save the world. The decaying started back before the sun went out. I guess the sun's sudden death was just the tipping point. Things went south really fast after that. Check. Wh what? When did your queen get there? <laughs> so, <laughs> what brought you here? Oh, Nico. Nico, these lines, man. <laughs> this place was supposed to be a second chance for me. A second chance? Check me. Dot, dot, dot. Alright. Guess I've kept you long enough. Thank you for listening. I hope you get home safely. Ah, thank you. I was enjoying that. That's a, that's a moment. Can we play chess again? Off you go. There's no reason for you to linger in the barrens. Oh, head engineer robot. <laughs> my feels. Uh, my feels. We can't have that. 
Nico, why are you upsetting all the fucking residents? You just got here. <laughs> you just got here, man. <sighs> Very good, Nico. Right. Um, I'm tempted to say that we're at fucking half an hour. Yeah, let's let's go and save the game. I think that's fair. Where the fuck did we save the game again? It was down here, wasn't it? Yeah, it's in this. Right. Um, well, I feel pretty fucking accomplished. We uh, upset a robot after um, giving it hope that we were going to bone it. Uh, we put some acid on another robot, which had no gender. It certainly doesn't have a gender now. Burn it off its robot, Willy. Um, we uh, shone a light bulb at things. Uh, we stamped a bit of metal. And otherwise, I think we had a good time. Good time indeed. So, um, the game closes when you save, so I, I might as well just... Uh, I'm sure you've seen this particular bed before, Stuart. If Nico sleeps here, you can take a break from the game without consequences. The game will automatically exit and can be continued later on. Don't be alarmed. I'm a little tired from walking. Is it alright if I take a nap? Absolutely, Nico. You knock yourself out, my little friend. Um, I'd love to say... That, what I would normally do if I was doing Tookie is I would keep revisional backups of saves just in case for some reason the footage fucks up. I don't have that luxury, because this game doesn't... I don't know where it saves the save. It's probably in the user their folder somewhere. I could probably find it. I've never been that fussed. We know what to do now anyway, so I don't really care. Um, episode 2. One shot. Loving it. This is such a cool game. Thank you very much for watching, everybody.